In today's video, I will show you how to turn this bathroom from this to this using the Delta Simplicity shower door system. It's basically three steps. Step one, you pick the type of glass door you like. Step two is the frame. Step three is the handle. They have numerous options of glasses and also colors of the frame and options with the handles. You could go frame or frameless. And that's what I got at the end. It looks pretty good and I got tons of compliments. So let's start with step two. With step two you have top rack, bottom track, side jams and installation parts. I started by opening the two box and uh, as I open it I uh, spread out the different parts included in the box and uh, started inspecting them one by one to make sure they are free from any sort of uh, damage from shipping or handling. Um, and uh, as you do that uh, there is also a bag that includes all the different parts that are required to uh, put these tracks and uh, uh, brackets together. <clears throat> so I started by uh, laying down a piece of plastic on the floor of the bathroom to protect uh, the tile and then I used my laser to create uh, an exact distance between the edge and then uh, the sides and uh, that helped me also level the vertical uh, brackets so that uh, they are all uh, leveled together. And uh, as you can see here, this is pretty easy to do through the laser, but also you could use uh, any other level system to, to do so as well. It's pretty easy. So I put uh, one a quarter inch from the outside edge and made sure both sides are equal. Uh, the, um, the shallow side will uh, be attached to the wall uh, and then the deep side will be to the outside and I used uh, tape to level it and attach it to my line. Uh, that was the best way to do this uh, thing by myself. Uh, you start creating a pilot hole through a uh, 1 8 inch uh, drill bit. Obviously you use uh, tile uh, friendly drill bits and then uh, as you finish those uh, pilot holes you use uh, 5 16 uh, tile drill bit to do um, the full hole through and um, there are six of them obviously three on each side uh, for most part uh, this was uh, uh, just um, not that hard to do um, <clears throat> and then after you finish those uh, making those holes uh, the next step would be to uh, uh, use the plastic provided uh, with the set to basically squeeze them in inwards like so and uh, insert them uh, through those six holes. Uh, I used uh, a small hammer to gently uh, tap them in to make sure they are slided all the way through. Just be careful uh, on the tile as you go through the step. And then I basically used uh, a small vacuum to uh, clean uh, all the residue left out of drilling. Then you will move to the next step which is basically uh, installing the four uh, uh, transparent bumpers. Uh, you install uh, one on the top and one on the bottom on each side. So a total four. You leave the uh, middle hole uh, empty. As you see here, one on the top, one on the bottom, the middle hole is empty. We will uh, use this for installing the other bumper. So then I uh, measured uh, the bottom track and uh, just make sure you take multiple measures because uh, it's okay to cut uh, long but just make sure you don't cut it short. I put a tape around it just to protect uh, from uh, the cutting blade and as you can see here I used my uh, uh, Milwaukee uh, tool here to cut this which was uh, pretty uh, simple to do. 
Um, then I inserted the uh, rubber bumper through this and um, um, I cut it, cut the extra. So then the groove here, you use it to uh, put uh, silicone, uh, bathroom uh, friendly silicone in and you spread it on this groove uh, and this will be basically touching the ground, the tile, to create a seal and to simplify basically to glue the this this uh, track to the to the tile. And then I measured the top rail. Same idea here, same process. Uh, again, multiple measures just to make sure you do it correctly. I put the tape on, and uh, same thing. Um, I make sure it is uh, all exact measure from all sides. And same thing, I used my Milwaukee tool to cut through it. You could use other tools to do this as well, or you could use a manu manual saw to do this as well. And as you can see here, uh, it came out pretty good. And then uh, those two pieces, each goes on one side, you basically insert it in, and uh, you use your uh, drill to create a, a pilot hole uh, for the screw to go in. And this basically keeps the top rail uh, uh, solidly attached to those side brackets so that it doesn't wiggle or move out of its place as you uh, mount the two glass doors on it. So then next uh, I put the middle bumper in the middle hole that we left empty and uh, those keeps the slide doors on their place and it also serves as a bumper. And then I move to step one which is basically the glass door themselves. Same idea here, I laid it down on the floor and uh, opened the box and inspected the glass uh, to make sure uh, all is good before I installing it, no cracks, nothing. It's tempered glass obviously. So then I took the uh, four different uh, mountaining uh, uh, rail uh, systems out. Uh, basically you have to unscrew uh, the, the, this part right here and then uh, you take out uh, the this, this is a very important piece right there uh, to insert in the middle and don't let it skip you because uh, uh, these pieces are easy to kind of lose if you will. And uh, you put this uh, uh, U-shape uh, plastic on the top and then you insert this uh, metal piece on the top and put the screw back. And uh, obviously I used a hand tool on this one to make sure that I don't over tighten them. So you, you basically, there are four of those and you have to repeat the same step on all four of them. And then this is the timing for uh, how uh, tall or short uh, you want to make your glass door. So I basically, based on my measurement, I had to move the screw to the uh, uh, number one hole, which basically makes uh, the glass door uh, drop lower uh, on the bracket. So that basically it leaves less space between the bottom uh, line of the glass door and the floor. And I did this for all four of them, as you can see here, mounted to the bracket. All, of, all four of them, uh, I moved it to the top, uh, number one hole. And then I moved the, removed the uh, protective corners uh, that they put uh, due to shipping uh, from these uh, slide doors. And uh, this, this is a necessary step to uh, then slide the door through this uh, uh, guideline here and this keeps the doors together. And then again, same idea here. You will create the pilot holes, two of them, and uh, you use your screwdriver to put in the two tiny screws 
uh, in there and uh, fix that uh, plastic piece. Wait. Just make sure uh, you wiggle this through to make sure the door uh, slides uh, smoothly. Then we move to step uh, three, which is basically one of the easiest steps in this process. Um, you basically uh, take the um, uh, handle and uh, make sure the uh, rubber gaskets uh, on the handle posts uh, stay together. Uh, there are uh, there are two rubber gaskets per each uh, uh, handle post, so uh, you insert them in. And then, using your hands, just uh, uh, tie it in together gently. Uh, just make sure you don't over tight them. Uh, the the rubber gasket basically keeps it together uh, pretty well. And uh, you do four of those basically, uh, two of them on each uh, slide glass door. And then uh, you insert the bar like that, and then uh, you put the second hand post in and uh, you screw uh, the, the hand post together from the outside. And this is basically your uh, last uh, assembly uh, step as far as parts and tools. Next step would be to um, uh, use silicone sealant to seal along the entire length of the wall jams and the bottom wrap. Um, so just go ahead and do that from both sides, uh, the inside and the outside of the uh, slide doors. This basically concludes your installation process. And uh, go ahead and basically I used some uh, glass cleaning uh, solution to a microfiber towel to clean the uh, glass doors and uh, we're pretty much done here. As you can see um, this wasn't quite a terrible process it took me about uh, uh, two hours to finish it all together from start to finish. And this is how you uh, turn basically an opening like this to look a lot better, like so. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and uh, like this video. Appreciate it. Thank you.